Okay guys, you've been following us. This is a new home. We started from scratch. We had an old house here with demo. And this is where we're at right now. This has a nice big porch. Right here we're gonna put steps here in the front. As you can see there's three lights on the porch. We're still working on it, doing final touch-ups. As you can see, it's pretty wide porch. Plenty of lighting. And this is a raised foundation. We have plenty of venting required. Here we're gonna have our, well, we have our 200 amp panel. Still in the works. This is gonna be our condenser pad and our water heater pad, concrete pad. Here in the porch, uh, we put a outlet for music, jumper, whatever you may need it for. I always recommend one. A lot of people don't put one and then they realize it would have been better and it's more expensive if you, if you do it after. This is our living room. We have plenty of lighting, six inch recess lights. Decent living room. We have here L-shaped kitchen, small dining over here. We are gonna have the fridge, the ice maker, the stove, our hood vent. Over here we have our sink. Also plenty of lighting in the kitchen. Over here, we have our first restroom. Our fan light here. Vanity light. Our small vanity, 24 inch. Here's gonna be our toilet. Double switch, one for the vanity and one for the fan. Here we have our three-way for our corridor. Plenty of lighting. Our axis. Here we put an outlet. Uh, you might not need it because we don't have carpet, but I like to put them because you never know. Here we have the laundry room. Washer, dryer. Space for a nice table. Plenty of storage. Switch. Where it's light, still working on the details, guys. Bedroom one, four lights, and we'll have a fan in the center. Here's our vent for air conditioning and heating. Four by four window, 24 by 24 tile. It's gonna be our TV wall. As you can see, Plenty of outlets. I like to put outlets uh, because that avoids extension cords. Let's see another outlet in the center of the wall. Another outlet in the center of the wall. Here we have our mirror closet doors. So a decent sized bedroom. Here we got bedroom two.
four recess lights and the fan set up in the middle. Air conditioning vent. Nice open. Here we have a closet with the switch for the light. Waiting installation for the mirror closet. Here we have a TV wall. 4x4 four four window. Still working on the details. Here we're coming into the master bedroom. Here's the three-way switch to turn off the hallway lights. So when you go to sleep, you don't have to come back and turn it off from over there. Here, it's a master, small master. With plenty of lights, we have a total of six. And a fan set up in the middle. Small walk-in closet with the pocket door. Again, plenty of outlets. Right here's going to be a TV wall in the corner. Here we have a pocket door to the master bedroom. Right here we have a design tile, like the other bathroom. Fan light. Vanity light will be here. Our vanity, third GFCI, then we we'll have a toilet right here. Our double switch. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. I apologize for the picture. I know it keeps going in and out, but this home that you are watching is only 1,100 square feet. Uh, California law allows you to, for an ADU up to 1,200. Not all cities qualify for that, but whoever does qualify and has a space for it, you can build something like this. A nice, comfortable, one master, two bedrooms, one bath, little house. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please share it. And if you have any questions, please uh, call me at 310-984-9398 or text me.